Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today! I am back today with the finale of season two of The Legend of Vox Machina, you guys! We're here. We're really here at the end of the season. Like I said, it's bittersweet. I love the season. Um, I would take more of it, <laughs> but but I feel like they've told a really good story too. I've really enjoyed just kind of the focus of this particular campaign, as well as like all the details um, along the way of like having lots of character development and of course just a lot of shenanigans. You know, we got we got to have the shenanigans on a show like this. Um, the comedy is just way too good. Um, so yeah, guys, I. Um, as, as you could tell, I just got finished, uh, reacting to the last episode, so I'm probably not going to have a ton to say that I didn't already say, but I'll just kind of briefly put it out there, like, whatever I didn't get to at the end of my last reaction. Um, before I do all that, I do just want to say for joining me early today, you know, just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much, and as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not... Still, thank you for joining me today. I am glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. If you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. That really helps me out and helps my channel. So thank you in advance for that. Um, we had a lot going on last time, you guys. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. We ended off on the, um, oh, what was it? Umbers was it Umbersil? I think was the name. Just absconding with three of our crew members. Um, definitely a big cliffhanger. I would expect nothing less as we're going into the uh, season finale. Of course, they're going to bring out all the big guns with all the twists and everything. Um, I'm really looking forward to more of the battle. I thought that the, I thought that what they were doing was like really clever. Um, the <laughs> Scanlan's, I, it's, it's, it's always about the butt with Scanlan. <laughs> He's had a lot of butt moments this season. Um, <laughs> but it was a good idea and it, I mean, it was somewhat effective. It just didn't exactly work and it didn't work as fast as we needed it to. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone was, I, people were like landing hits, like for a while, like the dragon was da like down and we we're just pummeling it. Like, I think that's pretty freaking impressive. Um, it just was not enough. It just was not enough. So of course now I'm sure that, um, he's bringing them back to his lair and we're probably going to have comfort, uh, confrontation with Ripley, who we know has been kind of like, um, trying to insert herself with the dragons to suit her own agenda and whatnot um so yeah it should be interesting to see them face off and eventually we're gonna get to Thordak which is gonna be like I don't know guys I don't know how we're gonna wrap this all up in one episode unless they're legit planning on like stretching it out which I don't I don't think they are maybe they are I don't know I feel like you would probably just cover one campaign per season I could be wrong though um, so yeah, guys, I am, I am so down to find out what the heck is going to happen. I will miss this show. I think they are getting a season three. I feel like somebody mentioned that. It's just, you know, it all depends on not only the production details, but also like the campaign itself and like when it, I don't know. I don't know. It might be a while, but I'm hoping that we get a season three. Um, but yeah, guys, without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right in to the finale of Legend of Vox Machina Season 2. Let's do this. Scanlan Shorthalt who slayed the dreaded dragon Umbrasil and freed the city of what? from its tyranny. Oh my god, did we do a time jump? Ooh, read it again, Grandfather. Ah! Please? Dragon part was so scary. She looks like a little so version scary. of the girl. Oh, he looks I, like a little version of the girl. Well, all right. Maybe one more story. Yay! Aww. <laughs> all right. Gather around, kids. You're about to hear I love this. Single-handed. What? What's Wake happening? Up. It's not real. Uh, it's a dream. Uh, Wake up. Oh. Uh, <sighs> fuck it. Please wake up. <laughs> 
Whoa! <laughs> Ow! Did he get his post? Chest hair? That is a very detailed look at the insides of a dragon. Uh, respect to whoever animated this and animated the. Oh, and there's Grog. <laughs> there is Grog. Oh, guys, the little. Oh, he just wants to be a sweet old grandpa. Go up its ass. Well, we are talking about Scanlan. Yeah, that's a pretty a it's standard. Maybe we don't. What about the broom? Oh, the broom! Let's fly. Woo! I told you. What did I say? Shoot him now! I don't have a clean. Uh, uh. Ah! Uh. Woo! Ow! No! Hang on, buddy. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. She can hit. She... Oh no! No! Come on, guys! Do something smart. Do something fine. Oh, oh, yeah. Use, use, uh, yeah, use your, yeah, you, it's, there you go. Use those to brace yourself at the very least. That'll probably keep you from dying. Oh, dear God. Wow, that's bad. That was, uh, he's alive. He's alive. Let's say he, we need to heal him. He's in bad shape. And now we're definitely going to lose the dragon. Oh. Yes. oh why does it always have to be fucking acid? It's yeah. Kind of the signature. Oh yeah, that's definitely that's that's hurting him. Oh. Oh. Can you Can we uh, make like I was gonna say, mid make a nice little hand? Whoa! Uh, uh, oh, he's knocked out! He's knocked out! Son of a gun! I need you. I uh, could use the matron right now. Yeah, come on, do uh, help help us out, please. Okay, so. Nope, we're we're embracing it. We're embracing what? Oh, ooh, oh! He is now a raven himself. He is. He has raven abilities. It's okay. It's all right. Nice. It was close, but it swooped in with the wings. With the wings. He's got. He's got wings now. He's got wings now. It's okay, Punky. I'm feeling way better. <laughs> easy, easy. Oh man, he's not gonna. He's 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 out. He's out for the count. Oh wow, what an image! Though. It just dang. The odds aren't good. We did chase it out of Western. Maybe that's mm. enough. We tore it's just stomach and didn't even slow it down. That was your idea, and yeah. it failed. I push our luck. There's no such thing as luck. What? I We've think he's. We want to walk away. He's gonna make his own luck. This can't be one of them. Look, I know we're hurt, but so is Umbrasil. Keep a rousing speech here. Best. We should flee. You're injured. Oh, not anymore! Dang it! I'll go. Could I'm fast he? as hell in this armor. Alone? Are you sure, brother? Oh, now I don't is like not the time idea. for cowardice. Oh. Vax, wait. Oh. I... First. Remember, the safe word is Jenga. I think he knew what she meant by that. I wish she had come out and said it, but... I just... I don't want to let her down anymore, you know? Let who down? His daughter? My daughter. Kaylee? If you don't want to let her down anymore, then don't. Then be the person that you want her to... It's not. To see in you. 
Nothing worth it ever is. Nah. No way. Anything worth it is usually pretty hard. Whoa! That was... Oh, that's... That's... That's sick. That is... I would. Oh my god. Well... Anything? We don't feel anything right now. Yeah. I'll stay with her. Splitting the party? I mean, what choice do we have? Yeah. I get I get it. I get it that he doesn't want to take unnecessary risks. It's not his style. But this is a great opportunity to start being the person you really want to be. Not so much. Not so much. Yeah! Oh, oh! Is it an illusion, though? Or was it? Whoa! What a shot! Oh! Oh my god, did we actually do it? Did we actually make it out? Changa. It's okay. You're safe now. <laughs> he said the safe word. It's the fate is real. Keyleth's people brought hurt. I Our mean, father. You think that was all chance? It, it is a lot to you be coincidence. are supposed to be here. It's meant to be. Matron. She doesn't control my destiny. No, Scanlan. You do. And you can run from it. Mm. To meet it. Oh, he's got a point. For all the wrong you've done in your life, you'd have to do a hell of a lot right. This is a whole lot of right you'd be doing. I God, we don't have time to talk it out now. Look at you, hardly a snack. Oh, how about a big old meal what? of grog? <laughs> Always got your back, buddies. One thing I learned in this life: no one comes back to save you. So what are you prepared to do? Mm. Okay, for the team, for Kaylee, for her imaginary grandkids. Oh! Ah! Come on, Scanlan! Come on, you can do this. Oh, and they're gonna get eaten. Great, great. All right. It's not. It's not the end, though. It's not. Cause we still. We still got Scanlan. This is mine. Oh! Oh, this is gonna have to be the best shot ever. Ah! Right in the eye. Right in the eye. Yes! Freaking Scanlan! What? You did it! You did it! Oh my god! He freaking did it! Wait! Okay, Scanlan! Scanlan? Oh no. Oh! He got crushed! She, oh, she's, she's, she's running out of juice. No, come on, not Scanlan. Not Scanlan. No. Oh, we did, guys, no, don't. Oh, uh, she always believed in him. She always saw the real him. Your daughter would have been proud. Come on now. Come on. You're not really going to do this to me. He was just enjoying the moment. A lot of gold. Huh? A key? Oh, mine. Oh? The hell? You got the vestige, now you get the magic key? I killed the dragon, didn't I? He I did kill the, the dragon. <laughs> Wait a second, Rock and I helped out a lot. Yeah, they right. all did. They all did a lot. Oh, no, yes, oh, yeah. Hey, thank you. You, yeah, you had his back. I thought you'd run back there. 
I almost did. Yeah. Then I realized, yeah. even if I don't believe in that matron stuff, you do. Then he believes in you, so. And I believe in you. Friendship is magic. You know of this dragon, Keeper Yenon? I do. Before I continue, hear my words. Oh. Think before oh. you act. Oh. Understand. Oh. Uh -huh. All is what? as it seems. What? No. She's taking yet its form. She's no. She's a son. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. dragon. You needn't worry about your sleeping friends. They needed the rest. Oh, they just got knocked I out. Okay. I hate Thordak as much as you. Enemy of my enemy. One. He is intent on stripping Teldore of its gold, but not to satisfy his greed. For what? For another. A new army awaits. Oh An no. Army that will soon inherit this An army? world and bring glory to the Chroma Country. Oh! An army of dragons not an army of dragons not an army of baby dragons hatching baby dragons dang it guys that was fantastic i love that i love that season so much i love that episode so much because it really um particularly we really got to have a nice focus on scanlan and him really and that we've been building that for the whole season too like that wasn't even just about his daughter because back at the beginning of the season he was like look guys i don't think we should get involved i don't think we should do this blah 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 like he's been the one saying like the risk is too great we need to to get out of here um and so it really brought his story full circle that like he was the one who dealt the killing blow when everyone was down and he didn't run for once and like that was just great it was a really great way to bring up full circle um for him in general and also with the whole story with his daughter just really accented that um but i feel like we got a nice wrap up for everyone here with that speech about destiny and everything just seeing that like and it's true like it's it's cool that they kind of like made that point like vax made the point of like none of this really happened by accident you know like we were all meant to be here at this time because it does i mean for me like this doesn't really take me out of it like the convenience of the story with everyone getting like their own particular episode and everything but like if if that feels a little too convenient for you, then, like, you do actually have, like, a, a reason, according to Vax, that, like, everything is sort of, like, following a, a certain kind of plan, I guess, you know, like, um, a certain path, maybe, is a better way to put it. Um, so, yeah, that was great. I loved all the character development this season. I really liked um, just everyone kind of getting their moment and everything and how it all came back to be very useful as as it would in a campaign you know every little thing you get along the way you're going to be able to use in a battle so like it it really worked and the battle was epic i loved seeing everyone in there just kicking butt and using all their cool new stuff um and i love just like the great hero moment for scaling it was really well done but yeah like somewhere around like two-thirds of the way through the episode i'm thinking like dang like we haven't even taken out umbersal yet and there's still like other dragons besides Thordak and there's Thordak so like what the heck so we are then continuing with this story um into the next season um so I wonder how long we're do you think it'll be two seasons the Chroma Conclave or maybe maybe I could see them like wrapping it up over another 12 episodes but um but yeah having it oh man like the shivers I got down my back when the dragon came out of the end ah! because um we even had that one episode where i think it's a it's keyless episode where someone's telling her like okay you just need to really make sure that you trust everyone around you right now and like of course with vox machina like we trust them infinitely you know like they're they're our best friends and like trust them with our, with our lives but that's actually a really good point that like ooh, a dragon can assume a form and this dragon's got some kind of power to be like five feet away from vex and not just like just like killing her with her with her signal her spidey sense her dragon spidey sense um dang like zero radar whatsoever 
Um, but, I mean, to get help from a dragon would be super helpful when you think about it. So, like, and, and I do feel like they've been building this idea that, like, dragons don't ordinarily work together anyway. And Thordax, it's, it's kind of going to his head. It's going to his head and it's causing problems, you know. We saw that, like, tensions were a little bit high. Um, Lassie kind of uh, gave us a little peek into the world of the of the dragons. Um, so it makes sense that somebody would be like, look, we just need to put this guy down. And then, like, I mean, I imagine they just kind of want to go off and do their thing mostly, probably after that. Like, I, I, don't, I don't see them trying to band together to take down humanity anytime soon. I'm not saying they love humans or they want to be around them or, like, they want to, you know, preserve their life or anything, but... But um, I'm sure, like, the last thing on their mind is going to be, like, domination, maybe, after after this whole Thordak ordeal. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe um, maybe this individual just wants the throne for themselves. But it kind of sounds like maybe this was just a, a branching out a little too much for the dragons. Like, they'd prefer to be more individualistic from now on. Um, so, yeah, guys. So, I guess we have that to look forward to in Season 3. Dang, that was a really good season, guys. I enjoyed it on so many levels. I just think they killed it with, like, the visuals were so stunning. The fights looked amazing. The dragons looked great. All the acting, of course, is always so superb because, like, who knows these characters better than the people who are literally, like, inventing them and playing as them. And it, it just, it works so well. Um, and, yeah, I... I I loved season one. I don't know which one I like better because, honestly, I feel like... I feel like season one is the reason I can enjoy season two so much. You know what I mean? Because now that I know them all, getting a deeper meaning to all of their like lives and purposes and everything is like, that's why I enjoy it so much. So it does like very much build, but I, man, I really love this season. I think they did a fantastic job. Um, they did so great with translating, um, things like the death, the Vex, Vex's death and everything. Just, I just think they did such a good job. Um, so yeah, that is it guys. Season two, Finn in the books. Um, I will consult with you in a later time or probably later. It might actually be before this. I don't know. Yeah. At a later time, I will consult with you because the next thing on my list to watch that will be taking this spot is Ahsoka. Um, I do have a little bit of time in between, so I will get to that later. But the next thing I'm watching that is taking this spot is Ahsoka, which I can't wait for. Um, but yeah, this is been, I'm, I was just so glad to have another adventure with our Vox Mach and our crew. I love it. Love it. Um, so yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me this whole season long. Um, please join me for some other things. Uh, if you're not already watching other stuff with me, watch a lot of stuff. Um, watching some anime, some Kamen Rider. Like I said, I'll be doing Ahsoka in a couple weeks when it comes out. As I'm filming this, it's like, I think about three weeks. No, four weeks? I don't know. Math is hard. But it's a few weeks away. Um... So, yeah, I hope you'll join me for some other stuff if you're not already. Because we have fun here. We have fun here. It's it's fun. It's a it's fun place. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, guys, I, I'm really, really glad I got to see that. Thank you so much for watching along with me. Please be sure to join me next time. Whatever it is I'm watching in the future, I would love to have you there. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.